Hello and welcome to this review of the light armoured vehicle LAV25. 25 is due to this LAV being fitted with an M242 Bushmaster 25mm chain gun which is here. <coughs> this is an eight wheeled amphibious armoured reconnaissance vehicle used by the US Marine Corps and Canadian Army. The LAV's main armament, as I've said before, is the Bush Master 25mm chain gun here. There is also a further two machine guns, the M240 7.62mm, which is here, and there is a further one which is manned by the gunner here. This version is the BBI Desert, one produced in 2002. <clears throat> there was a further version by Forces of Valor, which came in the uh, forest um, camouflage. Let's have a 360 tour of this one. As you can see, it's got the uh, four wheels on one side and the other four wheels on the other making it an eight wheel vehicle. There is also uh, lots of stowage. This is standard stowage. The three backpacks, the jerry can, the blanket. Um, you have a ammo canister here. <coughs> you have uh, two red viewfinders here and one here. There is a um, additional to that I have added um, camo netting or webbing. Um, there is a rucksack here which has had uh, detailing on the buckles. The silver bits for the buckles. I've also detailed silver on the blanket harnesses. There is also uh, lots of foliage all around the vehicle this uh, jerry can is standard on the vehicle uh, this one's uh, additional here we have two viewfinders and two ports for machine gunners to use uh, these are actually moulded on <coughs> so they, they, they can't move I've added a bit more foliage here. I've added uh, a tarp here with um, some buckles. I've added a further rucksack. I've added more foliage. Um, you have rope. Uh, some two. Um, barrels I've actually uh, you don't, it doesn't come with the netting so that's separate as you can see it's that tan colour with foliage added to it to make it look camouflaged it's on the vehicle I've also added uh, supposedly um, barbed wire, another rucksack, I've added um, a box of uh, shells here with the lid here, these shells can be removed like so, there is also a uh, a further box here on top where the driver is which can be removed I've added uh, another rucksack here two jerry cans some netting and, um, and lots of sort of like green 
greenery <coughs> just to make it look a bit more camouflaged. These all can be removed. When no, you remove it, you can actually see the vehicle a bit better. There we go, it's a bit more clearer. So, um there's a further rucksack. This is a BBI rucksack. Yeah. Um, I've added um, another ammunition container there. Uh, originally it came with four smoke grenades on the left and a further four smoke grenades on the right here. Um, the exhaust is standard with the uh, thing. So is uh, the weathering on the wheels. <coughs> I did, however, do a bit of weathering on the edges to simulate wear. So you can actually see the metal work underneath the paint. Um, I've added some rope, which can be unhooked. You can see the hooks. I've uh, strapped down the uh, barrels and also strapped down the supposedly barbed wire. Um, the figure is also quite nice. Um, I've actually done some weathering here on the propellers of the um, lav. These do not move, they're fixed. Also got these fins here, which I believe would assist it to uh, turn while it's in the water. There's a hook here that is fixed. It can't be opened, so you can't do anything. Some grab rails up here. I believe these hooks are for airlifting the vehicle here and here. <clears throat> these are just handles and these are actually like foot rests. Once they climb up they put their foot on it. Uh, the hatch doesn't open here. You've got a further two viewports here with sort of like the gun holes. Uh, on top there is only one uh, opening hatch this closes quite nicely the gun actually rotates um, the driver's hatch is fixed doesn't open <coughs> um, this hatch as well doesn't open here this is fixed and the other hatches that do open are the door hatches, which are here. These open. And <coughs> you can actually get four soldiers in here. So there's one. Three. This one has his rucksack or backpack. Here's a fourth one through his backpack and hat. Inside we can see that um, uh, 
Yes, as I was saying now, uh, if we see inside, you can actually see it's quite deep. And that's where you can get your four figures in there. There's a bench, there's even side bits. So that's quite nice and nice for your feet to go down well. Um, the two top rear hatches do not open, um, so in total there's only three hatches, two doors here, one here, one here, and then uh, the hatch to the rear, uh, to the top, sorry, which is here. So if we look a bit, a bit more about the detail here we can see the top. And then I'll be able to see you tried to simulate the buckles and the end straps and also dirt on the top or lean. Um as would you as you would expect the gun raises quite high and descends. The um, the turret revolves three sixty. The um, figure that you get is uh, this guy here. He's like um, what looks to be like a, a scarf face that's moulded on. Um, the hat, I believe, he comes not with this hat. This helmet he actually comes with a different helmet in the sand colour. Um, he's got some nice detail. You can see his gun in his holster. Looks to be like a vest. Maybe a torch. Here. Or a pen maybe. To the rear of him. You can see some strapping and some looks like to be in maybe a pocket. And some more sort of like straps. Uh, the camo's quite nice on him as well um, so his uh, articulation is his head rotates his arms go up his elbows have that 45 degree angle which is I think a trademark of um, BBI uh, bicep swivels the hand goes Rotates 360, likewise with the other side, goes up, down, rotates 360, Fice, um, bicep swivel, and the elbow bends, wrists turn, and uh, waist should turn, a bit stiff. It does um, bends at the hip, full 90 degrees. Bends at the knees, 90 degrees also. Boots swivel, some nice detailing on the boots. Looks like two tone. And then you've got looks to be the laces. Um, small heel on the boot. Um, nice camo on these pants. Um, let's have another look at the um, the vehicle itself.
So here we can see uh, you've got real rubber tyres, rotates quite nicely. Um, each the two sets of front wheels actually do turn are steerable like so. And they do turn the opposite way as well. So that's nice. Um, I believe they have a double um, steer because it actually helps for the vehicle to turn sharply um, as only one sort of set of steer wheels would have made the circumference even bigger. So that's a pretty good idea. Um, underneath it's actually hinged so you can actually see the detail. Just then you can actually see the how this arm actually moves, these arms move. Like so, like so, down and down. So that's nice. Uh, lots of weathering, and uh, this is original weathering done by the manufacturer. Likewise with the tyres and underneath as well. Might be able to see some dark weathering just there, almost like dark brown. I believe this vehicle can actually. used in the water but um, don't quote me on that um, yeah so I think that's should be about it I think I can't think of anything else that I mean all of this stuff is all additional to the original so it's a custom um, these hooks actually clipping here like so like that um, and actually hook here as well so that sort of like gives an extra towing capability I guess um, these are uh, these are just from the garden not too sure what sort of shrub they are um, but it's just things that I've found. But I think they set off the uh, vehicle and make it look quite nice. And then there was um, this one. This one went here, didn't it? This one went there. That one went there. And you also had this wilting shrub. Seems to be dying on me. Which I believe was here. Like so. And this one was here. And This one must have went somewhere. Oh, here maybe. That one went here. Like so. And then uh, you had this further one here. I tried to not put all the same sort of like leaves in the same bit more subtlety. And then uh, you have the camo netting. Which fits like that, which I think makes it look just a little bit better. And then you had the uh, driver with his helmet.
this is the the best um, lav you can buy, best lav twenty five you can buy, because um, I believe the forces of valor one, on the same sort of um, model I guess, but it only had uh, the opening uh, hatch at the top. There was no real opening hatch at the back here, which was a shame really, because that had uh, the nice. Um, Camo, forest camo. But yeah. As per usual, um, rate, subscribe, let me know what you think. Um, any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you very much.